Hey, what's up guys, Joker here. Today we have a couple of news stories regarding NVIDIA GPUs, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. The first story that we have today is courtesy of BenchLife.info, which posted a leaked screenshot of GPU Z showing what is believed to be the GTX 1050 Ti, and we also have rumors of a GTX 1050 variant as well, courtesy of BenchLife. BenchLife had been responsible for some of the leaks back around the time of the RX 480 and the uh, the 1070 and 1060 launches, which proved to be credible. So we will have to wait and see if these rumors do hold up true, but let's go ahead and take a look at those numbers anyway, and we can kind of speculate down in the comments below on whether or not we think these numbers are legitimate and whether or not if they are true, if this is the type of GPU that some of you guys might be interested in seeing. So starting with the 1050 Ti, that would be a four gigabyte model versus the 1050, which is only rumored to be a two gigabyte model of a graphics card. So even if we do see the four gigabyte though, I think that's going to be very interesting as being a budget card as these would be, I would assume probably under $200 as right now the 1060 is around $250 MSRP. And these cards are at least the 1050 Ti anyway, is probably going to be looking to compete directly with something like the RX 460. So on that four gigabyte model of the 1050 Ti that's rumored, they're talking about having 768 CUDA cores, which is significantly less than the GTX 1060, which has 1,280 CUDA cores. And then there's less still on the rumored GTX 1050, which has only 640. So like almost half of what is actually on the GTX 1060. So we'll have to see how much of a drop in performance we see on these cards when we do take away all of those beautiful, beautiful CUDA cores. On the 1050 Ti here, we are seeing a lower base clock than the rumored 1050 of 1290 versus 1354 megahertz. And then we've also got the boost clocks at 1382 versus the 1455 of the GTX 1050. So the 1050 looks like it is getting a higher clock while the 1050 Ti is getting a larger memory size with the four gigabytes of video memory while both of them are having a 75 watt TDP, which means that these cards should be able to be powered directly by the PCI slot, which we saw back in the 750 Ti was very important also with the RX 460 now is important because a lot of people that maybe pick up an OEM system can just go ahead and get one of these cards and slap it into their system as long as they have a spare PCI slot and a power supply capable of delivering the juice to the card, but without the need of actually using something like a six pin PCI connector to power the GPU itself. It'll be able to get that 75 watts directly from the PCI bus. And on here we are also seeing a 128 bit memory interface for both of these cards. So that could be limiting as well, but you know, once again, these cards are going to be expected to be below $200. So let me know your thoughts on these specs down in the comments below and where you think this will fit in, especially when we consider the RX 460, which is already out there taking away some market shares, possibly from Nvidia at the sub $200 price point. Now we are switching gears. Well, not really, not switching too many gears. Well, we're switching gears to Max, but we're staying on NVIDIA. We've got another NVIDIA story here um, regarding Max and possibly seeing the return of NVIDIA GPUs to Mac towers, which we've seen in the past as optional add-ons. You could get things like a GTX 780. I remember seeing those in Mac towers as add-ons a few years ago. Well, recently Mac has been working with AMD because of some bad business relationships with NVIDIA, but it looks like now that may be coming to an end as Bloomberg reported the other day that NVIDIA has actually posted a couple of job listings where they are looking for people to develop Mac GPUs. Quoting the ad directly, they said that the applicant will help produce the next revolutionary Apple products and the role would require quote unquote, working in partnership with Apple and writing code that will define and shape the future of graphics related software on Mac. So this is going to be pretty significant, maybe not for PC builders out there that people aren't going to go out and buy Macs, but what it is going to be significant towards is actually taking market share away from AMD, again, which is something Nvidia has always tried to do in the past, with whether it be laptops, um, PCs, anything, Nvidia is always trying to just, you know, keep an eye on the bottom line and taking away market share for, away from AMD, which has always, which has pretty much been to their benefit in the majority of those instances. So. This could hurt AMD big time if, if NVIDIA comes along and becomes now like the dedicated provider of GPUs for Mac towers, even for you guys, you know, that are building PCs, it may not, you may not think it's going to affect you as much, but it certainly could in the long run when we start to see AMD losing market share and not having more money to invest in things like R&D, which has been an issue for them 
in years recently, and they're just starting to kind of claw their way back now with the release of Polaris, the expected Vega, and also Zen. They have a lot of really good things on the horizon coming in the future, but this is just one of those things that could possibly hurt them in the long run. So hopefully AMD is still able to remain competitive with more of the OEM system builders and Mac as well. Obviously, is that is a large, large market share for the for the you know global economy, not necessarily um, PC gaming enthusiasts, but it is still a very large market share nonetheless. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Let's please discuss this all down in the comments below the um, the GTX 1050 and the 1050 Ti rumors, as well as the Mac rumors as well, with Nvidia possibly making a return there. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments, and I'll see you guys down there for further discussion and catch you next time. Sure.